Hey guys, Tiffany Thornton here, and you're watching Clever TV. All right, so you're on break from the show right now, yes, right? Yes, we just wrapped second season. We did 26 episodes, and we were filming since November, so I can't believe I actually, like, tomorrow I have a whole day off, and I haven't had, like, a whole 24 hours off in, like, a lot of months, so I'm excited. So what are you going to do on this one day off? Well, my friend Francia Raisa from Secret Life, uh, she's one of my best friends, is actually performing for Millennium Dance Studio tomorrow night, so I think a friend and myself are going to go watch her do that and get inspired to work out more <laughs> <laughs> around all those dancers and everything um, right yeah we went last night to the rehearsals and as soon as we left my friend and I were like uh, we need to work out <laughs> no. are you a dancer at all no <laughs> I mean I have rhythm okay don't get me wrong but I'm definitely not a dancer like I was never trained I was a cheerleader when I was younger so I can catch on but I can't do anything like what my friends Charity and Francia do so what do you do when you go to a party and everyone's dancing? Oh, well, I can dance like at parties. Like I know how to dance like that, but I just I'm not like uh, choreographed. Yeah, like, choreographed. Yeah, I can't do that. <laughs> well, obviously you have a beat because you're a recording artist, right? Yeah, I, ha I hope I know what a beat is. You know, <laughs> I hope I know how to clap on the two and the four, and not just the one and the three. Yeah. Um, so yeah. you've been in Nashville, right? Yes, I was there last month um, and got about eight songs co-written with a bunch of people out there. I got to write at Martina McBride's studio. That was like, I cried when I was there. It was just one of the coolest experiences ever. Um, and I'm going back next month, so. Very cool. Yeah. So describe to us what your musical vibe is. Um, well, it's definitely very country. I'm still discovering like what area of country I like. I did a song um, with a producer named Nathan Chapman recently called Dig It, and it's very bluesy and funky, and I didn't know that I could even sing that way, but it turned out to be one of my favorite songs that I've ever done. So we might go in a more bluesy country direction. The only thing I don't do is rock, because I just can't do it. I don't have like a powerhouse voice. Like Demi could sing her butt off in rock music left and right, but she can also do a lot of other things. But I can't do rock music, so people are like, oh, well, maybe you're doing Carrie Underwood kind of stuff. And I'm like, yeah, but not rock. You know, she has like that rock, sassy element. Take out the rock, but keep the sass, and that's what I have. So if you did describe your music by using musical artists that are already out there, yeah. how would you describe it? Or who would you describe it as? Well, I think I really, I look up to, even though I'm older than, Taylor Swift, um, for the simplicity that she finds in her lyrics, but it, her songs mean a lot, and they're easy to understand, but it's not just words, like talking about random things. She really means what she's saying, so I draw a lot from people like Taylor, um, Carrie Underwood with her sass, like I said. Um, I love Miranda Lambert, uh, Lady Annabella, um, Kelly Pickler. I kind of pull, try to pull from everyone that I can. There's a new artist out named Laura Bell Bundy who's been on Broadway for a long time. And she just did a song called Giddy On Up. And I listen to it like every day. Um, so it's hard because I don't want to be like any other artist. But I definitely would love to be like the next Faith Hill. That would be wonderful. Oh, that would be amazing. <laughs> but who doesn't, right? I don't even sing and I would love to be the next Faith Hill. Yes, exactly. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you. It was thank nice you. to see so you. Nice to see